everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a velvet lip tints comparison. If you take a quick scan, you can pretty much tell that all of these are very popular lip tints. I do have a repeat of Piri Pira just because I had to include it. I try to choose a brown shade for all of these, but some of them don't have it. So we have a little bit of a pink and red. There's definitely a lot more velvet lip tints that are really good as well. I'm going to be reviewing it in a separate video according to their brand. If you're curious about the shade color, I will be listing it somewhere on the screen here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we have Bia's Last Velvet Lip Tint. And this is a very, very popular lip tint. This is shade 36. You can tell just by the number how popular it is. A big variety of shades. Quite pigmented, really easy to build up the color. The stain is pretty good. It's not as good as other the products here but it's quite decent i would say for the thickness it's quite in the middle it's not super thick nor is it super light it doesn't give much moisturization to the lips but it applies really well on it has less blurring effect than other products here but has a pretty good finish it looks really soft and smooth this doesn't have any residue or build up the biggest advantage of this product is that it doesn't smudge easily if you apply it on your lips it's going to stay there and it could be a little bit hard to blend you might have to work fast when you blend this product if you want that blurred effect. However, once it applies on your lips, it's gonna stay there. It smells quite sweet, almost perfume-like. Next up, we have Black Rouge. This is their Air Fit Velvet Tint. And again, this is also a really popular lip tint. This is in shade 32, lots of shade colors. Super pigmented, it has a really good stain. The texture is quite creamy. It is quite thick, but it's really easy to blend. Really good to create that blurred effect if you're into that. And you might have to watch out for unevenness, so just make sure that you're blending out well. Otherwise, there's no residue, there's no buildup. Kind of smells like crayons, I'm not gonna lie. Although this is like really popular, I actually don't really remember this much. It doesn't leave. A really big impression on me but i do know that they have really good shade colors next up is edge houses fixing tint this is a viral lip tint super popular this is a watery formula it applies on watery and then it dries matte but also semi velvety this is probably the least velvety out of all of these just because of its watery formula but as you know it's mask proof you can still blend the formula to create that gradient effect before it does dry up amazing stain i can wear it all day and it's still pigmented probably has the second best stain out of all these products it doesn't dry up my lips for this scent it smells like shea butter next up is peri peros ink of the velvet first of all the packaging is really adorable really portable and convenient has really good pigmentation decent stain. Look really good to build up the color. It doesn't leave any residue. I really like the form of this. It's really creamy, almost kind of like peanut butter. You just put it on your lips and it just creates a really smooth and flawless look on the lips. Again, this also has a variety of shades. It is a little bit thick and it might feel a little bit heavy on the lips, but for the finish, it's really good. It smells quite sweet, but it's not super overbearing. If you're looking for your first Korean velvet lip tint, I probably recommend this. You have to have at least one in your lip collection. Next up, we have another Pira Pira lip tint. This is the Ink Airy Velvet. Again, good stain, really pigmented. What sets this apart from other lip tints here is that it's super, 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 super soft, and I mean it. It feels like a cloud on your lips. I've never come across any other formula like this. Super moisturizing as well. Gives an amazing finish as well. Blends so well, it doesn't leave any residue. I actually prefer this more than the previous one, which is the Ink Velvet. Really easy to apply. You can just blend with your lips or with your fingers. It does smell sweet, so if you're sensitive to scent, um, I would keep that in mind. Next up is 3CE's Velvet Lip Tint. 3CE rarely disappoints. Their products are always top notch. For this lip product, it's pigmented, it has a really good stain, and it glides on the lips really well. It is semi creamy, but still lightweight enough that you can build up the shade color. It has an amazing finish, and most importantly, they have really good shade colors. I would say the range of shades are a little bit more unique. It does seem to have a bit of a powdery finish, like you can see the little specks. But you can fix that by just blotting it out and it probably is just excess product. It smells a little bit like shea butter. Next up is Roman's Blur Fudge Tint. Similar to Ed House's Fixing Tint, it is a viral lip tint. Very, very popular and they are compared a lot. Um, but this product also is mask proof. You will have to apply it on your lips for 10 minutes. I'll let it dry for it to be mask proof. Personally, that's quite a long time for me, but it's better than nothing. It has some variety of shades. I do hope that they come out with more. But this product is quite thick. It's probably the most 
thick gives a really good gradient effect you can build the color this also smells like crayon next up we have franco's snowy tint they also have a variety of shades this product is super pigmented it's the most pigmented out of all these products has the best stain out of all these products it also is quite thick so it is going to feel a bit heavy on the lips because of how pigmented it is a little does go a long way it has a pretty good finish it blends pretty well it gives you a decent velvet finish it can create harsh edges so just make sure that you are blending it well sort of has a floral scent so out of all these products i would say that these four had the best first impression this one for its stain this one for how soft it is and these two for the stain and mask proof ability as well as um, how long lasting it is. I mean this one is too but it's just a little bit more difficult to apply because I have to make sure that it's not I don't have any harsh edges. Out of all these I actually wear these two the most just because they're more convenient, um, very long lasting and it also has an amazing finish. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.